friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we are doing an unstuffing for August, and I'm super excited to do it. I do need to get some ones, I'm sure, to make change, so I will have these ones off to the side, which we'll use to make change in our envelopes, but this is just where I track what was spent on my credit card, and then I pull it out of my envelopes, pay myself back, pay off my credit card, stay out of debt. So we are going to get started in my bills binder. And this first charge is in my bills binder. This was for a donation I made that I thought I was going to do monthly, but um, I decided against it just because I need to put some money elsewhere. Um, but I did give $40 towards this. So 20, 30, 40 is what I'm going to pull out for this donation from my monthly giving and bills. Oops. So that should be the only charge there. So there's that. Um, insurance, I need to pull out $96. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. So then I need to give myself $4 back. So all I'll do is pull out a five and give myself five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Which honestly, I think I'm gonna pull out this 20 and give myself 20 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we'll do that. And then actually I'm gonna give myself this five back and pull. One, two, three, four, five ones back out just because I know I'm gonna need that five. So now I'll give myself four ones back because I took out 90 or 100. So one, two, three, and four ones for change. Hope that all made sense. This is just how I do it in my brain. Um. Okay, utilities. I need to pull out $6 for the gas bill in July. So... Let's see, I'll take out a 20, so 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and put this back, and now I need to take out $6, so I'll do a five and a one in there. And I think I have some other utilities, 51 for July water and sewer, so 20, 40, 51 for that one and then 35 for google fiber which is our internet so i'm gonna take out 40 and put back a five for that i think that's it yep that's all for utilities so i have 10 5 10 11 12 and 13 left in utilities There's that. And now let's see if there's any more bills. I don't think there is. Nope, no more bills. So that is it for this binder. And we'll move on to Big Blue. So that is my next dollar amount. Um, we are going to Myrtle Beach this month and the second payment was due. So I'm pulling that out of travel. Um, in friends trips. So let's pull out 74, 20, 40, 55, 65, 70. Oh gosh, that's so annoying. Okay, so I'll put down 100 and I need to take 100. 20, 40, 60, 81. So we'll pull that out of the bank. And I need to pull out now 74. So 20, 40, 60, 75 is what we'll take out. And then we'll give myself a one back. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 90, 5, 96 in friends trips. Let's see if there's any more travel. I don't think there is. Oh, there is. Weddings. I need to pull out $214 because I paid for um, an Airbnb for when I go to Dallas for a wedding. So that was 214. So 150, 70, 90, 200. So I'm gonna have to break this, of course. Ah! Okay, um, let's see what other property I can pull out. 
Okay, I don't have any good 100 prop bills. These are like mistakes, so I'll use this. So I'm gonna take out this $1,000 prop bill and swap it with this five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand dollar prop bill. So putting it off to the side since that was not in the mix to begin with. Okay, so now we'll take out 214. So one, 200. And then we'll take out a 20. And then we need to put back six dollars. So five, six. All right. So that's this charge. And then weddings, um, we're also pulling out for the flight to DFW. Um, that is just a one-way flight. Um, I haven't booked the return because I think I'm going straight to a work conference, so work should pay for that. So let's see, 150, 70, 85. And we'll put back a one. So now in weddings, we have 500, 600, 700, 800, and two dollars. So it's got depleted a little bit, but that is what the money is there for. So that is travel, and I think that's it for Big Blue. Yep. So now I'll go to my long term spending and do that fitness and wellness charge next which was for Fabletics. I do have a Fabletics subscription that I haven't used in a minute. Um, so I'll have lots of credit built up, which is nice. So I need to pull out 60. So I'll do the 50 and the 10. My hands are like shaky for some reason. Sorry if they're shaking. Um, and then let's see all of those in my weekly spending. Another fitness and wellness for $54. So I have 60, so I'll take that out and put back six. I think I go negative in this category if I remember correctly. Yeah, so here's $48. So 48 minus six means that I still need to pull out 42. So I'll do like a half check, like a baby check. And then, so we'll put this back. And then I still need to do this $5 here. I'll do a little baby check. Um, you'll see why in a minute, but those are like done, but not because we're going to come back to them. Um, okay, so these are all weekly spending, weekly, 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 medicals in a different binder. Um, Self-care, that's in this binder. And I'm pulling out for my wax pass that hit, which was $142. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, and 145 is what we'll pull out. I need to put back three dollars. So one, two, three. And that's that. But I did also pay for a massage, which is not on here. So I need to keep that in mind. Look at that one. It's just like ripped. Okay. So that is it for this binder. And now on to my wallet. We're gonna start in groceries, which I know is going negative. I went overboard on groceries. Um, clean Eats is a, like a meal prep service that prepares clean food. And so I spent $37 there one day. Um, let's pull out 40 and put back three. One, two, three. And then Whole Foods, I had a $16 charge. Um, let's pull out a 50, what's 50 minus 16, I know I can do that, I just don't want to, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and then we need to pull out 25 for Fresh Market, so 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, And then $10 for Whole Foods. We live right near Whole Foods, so we usually just have little baby charges when we go there because we need like cheese or eggs or whatever. Food Lion, $51. Pull that out. 
and then $94 for Food Lion. We'll pull out 100 and put back six. And then $69 for Clean Eats again, but minus 10, 15, 16, 17. So we still owe that $52. baby check. And then 67 here for Harris Teeter. This is for like three weeks worth. And then I bought, this was the splurge. Um, I bought this thing called Twisted Dough and it is a protein um, cookie. Oh, actually, I have the jar right here because I just finished eating one. Because oh. I just finished one. Um, so this is ready to eat protein cook, like cookie dough basically but it's safe to eat um and this in two tablespoons of this which is like you know two spoons has 10 grams of protein um only five grams of carbs and 1.5 grams of fat which is awesome it is pretty high in sodium but well not that high actually 55 milligrams but yeah this was the cake batter one that I just finished um and it's so good. You can definitely taste like it's very like, if you don't like the taste of protein powder, I don't think you'd like it. Um, but for me right now, I'm on a diet. And so like, I can't eat a lot of sweets. And that has been just like the best thing because I can get my protein in and um, get something sweet. So I'm just obsessed. That was the best $79 I ever spent, but it was a total splurge. But I will be ordering them again. They have a subscription, I think. So I might be doing that. Um, but that's it for groceries. So I need to pay myself some big dollars back, but we'll get there. Okay. And then let's go to household. Cause that's next. We bought a meat tenderizer and a new pan. Cause one of our pans is kind of crusty and that's 19. So put back a 20 and grab a one. I think that's the only household charge, but I could be wrong. Yes. So then the next one. One is gas for $46. Um, 20, I'll just take the 50. Let me put back four ones. One, two, three, and four. That'll make the condensing more fun if that 50 is gone. So there's that, gas for my car. And then dining out, um, Colin and I went to Torchy's one night for dinner and we ate there because that we had to eat there for my 75 hard rolls. Um, so that was $16, so I owe myself four. I don't have enough, so let's take a 10 and grab 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I need four ones now. One, two, three, four. Um, and eating healthy there was harder than I thought, but I found a way to make it work with my diet. Um, couldn't get the queso, which was the hardest thing because Torchies has the best queso, but that is very high in calories, so I couldn't make it work, which was a bummer. Um, spending, we're gonna pull out, oh wait, another dining out was 155, and this was $155 because I paid for myself and my cousin and her friend who came into town and I just wanted to say thank you. So I paid for lunch. Um, and so anyway, that's why it's so high and that's why I'm also pulling from giving. So it started as 155 and I'm pulling out 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, and 94 from dining out just because I wanted to pull all of it, but I ran out of money. And then I need to pull 61 still out of giving. So I need to go back and do that. We'll do that after I finish this binder. So now we are going to move on and do spending, which was $7. And I paid for Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus, put back these two fives. Um, I'm just doing it for the month because I wanted to watch Zoe 102 and I did. So I'll be, I already canceled it. Um, or I went to cancel it and then they gave me a two month free trial. So I'm having it for two months and then I'm going to cancel it. But I just don't really like need it, but I wanted to watch Zoe 102. So there's that. Um, and then 
that is it for this binder. So let's do medical real quick and then we'll do giving. And medical is in my baby blue binder. And we are pulling out $10 for my counseling here. And, and then we'll pull out $30 because I had to get some COVID tests and something else. So I'm gonna pull out 40 and put back a 10. And then I need to pull out a 10, so I'll just pull that out again. There we go. And that was for counseling. And then $12 for a prescription. So I'll take out the 20 and put back eight. Um, five, six, seven, eight for this. And now I need to go do giving. is in long-term spending and I need to pull 61 out of there. So 50, 65 will come out and then I'll put back four ones. One, two, three, and four. So now I can erase that, erase that, and just do a big check there because that is paid. So you might be asking, okay, you need to pay $5 to fit, blah, blah, blah. you need to pull $5 from fitness and wellness plus another 42. So that is 47 that I'm missing there. And then for groceries, we're missing all of these, which is 52 plus 67 plus 79. That's 198 over budget. And then I think I pulled everything else out already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those from my deck of savings, which I finished in my last stuffing and I wanted to stuff that money today. So let's pull out my deck of savings money and count it one more time, which I can take this out now because we're done with that challenge for now. I'll bring it back probably at the end of the year when I launch it again on Black Friday. So. I have 1, 2, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500, 10, 25, 35, 40. So 540. So we're going to pull out $47 for fitness and wellness. So 20, 40, 50. And then we'll put back $3 into fitness and wellness. which has nothing, so I need to make, get more ones. One, two, three, four, and five. And so I'll put, so I needed 47, I paid 50, so I need to put three ones back. So one, two, three dollars will go into fitness and wellness because I paid 50 and there was only 47 that needed to be done. So, now we can erase all of this and those can get big checks now. And now we can go to groceries and we owe it 198. So I'm gonna put 200 and give groceries back to $1 bills. all of this, erase all the baby checks, do big checks because those are done. And now we have paid off everything for this on stuffing. And now this is money that we can, um, what's the word? Allocate. But first let's count what's going towards my credit card. From the last like three weeks worth of spending. So this is the unstuffing amount. So we have one, two, 300, 400, 500, 600, 57, 50, 800, 50, 900, 950, 970, 990, 110, 
one, wait, 1,010, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 495, 10, 530, 540, 550, 560, 70, 80, 90, 600, 610, 20, 30, 40, 645, 55, 660, 661, and 662. So 1,662 dollars is what's going back to the bank today from this unstuffing. And now let's see how much from deck of savings we get to stuff. So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, and 90. So 290 is what we get to stuff in, I already did my allocations out. So we did stuff, groceries and fitness and wellness. So now I'm gonna add $120 into self care to cover the massage that I already got. So this will help me pay back that. I just um, haven't put it um, in my trackers yet. So that's why we didn't unstuff it yet. So now in self-care, we have 120, 30, 40, 55, 56, 57, and 158. And I'll pull out those ones in my next cash stuffing. So 158 in there now, which is enough to cover my massage because it was $145, I believe. Um, and then I want to add $100 into birthdays because I want to be able to contribute to my um, niece's 529 plan for her birthday. So we're going to add $100 for her birthday. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So now Audrey, my niece has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 105, 10, 15, 25, and 130. So she should be all set for her birthday now. My personal emergency fund, I want to add $20. So I have 10,100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, and 330. So 10,330. And then I wanted to add $30 to my pet emergency fund because I'm trying to rebuild that. So 10, 20, 30. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, and 100 now in my pet emergency fund. We're coming on back. And then my future wedding, I wanted to add 20, 5, 10, 15, and 20. So 5,500, 5, 20, 40, 60, 75, 85, 95, and 600. So 5,600 now in future wedding. So that is how I allocated my deck of savings, paying off groceries, fitness and wellness, and self-care, which is money I'd already spent, which is my bad. Um, and then put 170 towards financial goals. So that is it for today's video. I do have one more side hustle cash stuffing for the month of August, and then we're gonna do a condensing. Um, and I also want to do like another video for y'all just to kind of check in on my financial goals and things. So that will be coming after that. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.